Hello, I want to thank you for clicking on my channel. I'm PI187, and uh, today I'm going to be reacting to An Idiot Abroad Season 3, Episode 3, The Short Way Round China. Now, I'm pretty sure Carl already did China, but this time he's doing it with Warwick Davis, so it'll be different. I guess they'll check out some different stuff. All right, let's just get into this. Some volume going. All right, you guys ready? I'm ready. Marco Polo, one of the world's greatest explorers. In the 13th century, he embarked on an epic journey from Venice to China that took over three years to complete. Now, Ricky Gervais is sending his mate Carl Pilkington to follow in his footsteps. But this time, he's got a little company. Will he stop just puffing and panting like that? Jesus Christ. It's like a Primark sale. He said if he did it again, he'd want some company this time. Um, he meant me, but I've sent someone in my place. Yeah, Grab all them up. You can't see it. They're like chalk and cheese. Carl whinges all the time. He's doing me head in. He's treating it like a holiday. He says he doesn't <laughs> want adventure. He doesn't want stress. I'm just not a good swimmer. Once you're in, it'll be fine. Warwick never says no. He'll take on a challenge. Tease the camera, tease the camera. Mm -hmm. Now do a little bit from Oliver. Good. <laughs> it's not the night for this, is it? Warwick, you have to do it. I'm doing it. They're going to have the adventure of their lifetime, whether they like it or not. Whoa. Oh, that must be this episode. Previously on An Idiot Abroad. Dick Whittington he had a cat with him. And you went, why take a cat? Take a little mate. Just think you're going to be a hindrance. It's your idea to come to the party. You go in there. Is this good? Mm. good. Brilliant, good. Warren. Good. Bring him over, he said. Good to have some company. One, two. One, two. There's no way that I'm having it that Warwick's a better dancer than me. No way. Seems what Warwick wants, Warwick gets. Ah! Oh! Mm. I never had a kite. Set me down. What you're going to see now, you'll never get the chance to see again. The Spider Sisters. I'm just going to wait outside, let Carl go and ask his questions. Do you have the mane or do you have the pudding? I don't know why you're so fascinated. Because it's something different. I've done a lot for him now. Let me have a bit of me time. Still in India. I've come to see them because they're different. That's all it is. It's not to poke fun, it's because they're different. People out there are coming in here to see new things. Look at the crowd Warwick got. Uh, <laughs> It'd be good if Warwick was willing to sit on there and raise some more money. I'll sit there, white person, bold. They've never seen that before. They've never seen a little man before. Yeah, would, would it make any, I mean, would it make any difference for them, money-wise, if me and Warwick was to sit on the stage as well? If both of us are standing with other people, what will happen? Oh, okay. So she's good, yeah. She doesn't mind. Okay, let's have a word with Warwick. <laughs> oh, great. It's embarrassing. I'm not just going to go and stand there and have people look. Oh, he's turning Warwick into a freak show. Oh, my lord. Do you know what I mean? Well, what's the, what's the point? Uh. <laughs> Carl, what are you doing? Just when I think <laughs> you've said the weirdest, stupidest thing ever, you top it. I think it's weird that we're putting ourselves on this side. That's what's making this horrible. If we just all sat there together, it's not a problem. You sit there, I'll sit behind you, people come in, I'll give you a sense of party. You do what you want to do, what you need to obviously right, get out okay. of your system. You do that and I'll, I'll, I'll go outside and wait. I don't, I, I don't understand his priorities. He's happy to dress up as leprechauns and bears and stuff, but he won't sit on a stage, which he likes, and he won't let me comb his hair. Everything we've been through, together. Oh, wow. Say so they'll come to see Warwick. Why? Why Warwick, not me? I can't see any merit in me doing it. If I had something to do, something to give here, then then so be it. It's a performance. But it isn't. Me just sitting there. 
<laughs> it's not. I'm not bringing anything to the table here, am I? Uh, well, me. He has a wonder. A wonder about being fucking. Uh, there's more than. There's a. There's a lot of midgets in the world. Um, or dwarfs, or I don't even know what you're supposed to call them anymore. But uh, <laughs> they just want to put him up there on stage as a freak show. Of course, he doesn't want to go up there. People oh, round head. Oh. Come on. No one will come see you. <laughs> I want to see Warwick and up there. What do you look like, Carl? <laughs> I need you, you're my partner. But what are we doing then? I will comb your hair. I'll massage you. Are you all right? Are you all right? <laughs> ben Fogel wouldn't have left James Cracknell. Cannon and Ball always did stuff together. The Chuckle Brothers, he wouldn't have worked with one chuckle. He's standing there getting an eyeful for free. Warwick, just get on the fucking stage. Shall I wonder how Carl's doing in 2024 with how the world is today with people being so fucking uptight and no one likes to laugh and like he probably isn't allowed to fucking talk half the time he'll get himself in shit. I yeah I don't think some of this shit would fly today. Know his name? Warwick. 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 Yes. <laughs> you bastard. Hey. I'm going to bloody kill you. Warwick, you okay? Not really. I think I'm having some sort of weird dream at the minute. <laughs> all right, yeah, all right. Go on then, that's it. Yeah, that's it, give it a good squeeze. Ah! There you go. Very nice. Thank you, ladies, very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Easy, easy. Swarmit's <laughs> not happy. Not happy at all. <laughs> Hi, Warwick. Um, you should be in China by now for the final. Oh, what's Ricky gonna fucking say when he finds out that fucking Carl did that to Warwick? He's gonna fucking lose his shit on him. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be fucking priceless. Little leg of the journey. Hopefully, you and Carl <laughs> have bonded a bit after all your time together on the road. I've um, booked you in on a scenic river cruise up the NT. Just imagine all the boats loaded up with precious cargo and Marco Polo Day. You should love it. All right, then. Enjoy. <laughs> He's just sitting on the bike. You, you are never going to see the Spider Sisters or anything like yeah. it again. OK. You could see this again quite easily. No, I just don't want to talk about that whole scenario again. It's like Salford Docks, yeah. this. Yeah. He wasn't happy. So how far are we going on this boat? I'm not in the mood for it. Why? Not the shits. It's a bit funny how I've got the shits and you haven't. Be not careful. But you haven't been getting into it, have you? You've been having deep pan pizzas every day. I wanted you to get ill. But why does that bother you so Because much? then you can be part of the team. It's like the, the Red Arse Gang. Why did you get ill? At least then, I don't know, you wouldn't annoy me as much. It's annoying me how you're not ill and you're not experiencing what everyone else is. So if I'm chucking up in the toilet with the shits, you'd come in and pat me on the back and say, Great worry. Well, I, yeah, I have some connection with you. So your connection with me would be through my arse then? No! Oh. Come on, there oh. go. Catch the boat, Carl. Pass on that shit, eh? Oh. The smell of piss in the air. Thank you very much. Mind to step here, Carl. It's not even hooked on. Have you been on a cruise before? Nah. No, I won't be again if they're all like this. It's not good when the carpet's damp, though, is it? Fucking hell, the Titanic was brought up and it looked better than this. Thank you very much. 
Yeah, it's my room. Yeah, man, yeah. Are you just helping me with my luggage? Now, there's the toilet. I'll be... To be honest, that is useful for me, the way I'm not at the moment. The toilet's got a shower door on it. That's well handy, the way it's spurting out of my ass. <laughs> I'm not oh. joking. And I know what's oh. happening here, cos you've got this room, so what's mine like? Here. <laughs> I can just imagine what Ricky got him. Wow. Shower. <laughs> All at the same time. That's a toilet. <laughs> Lou, don't use that one. We've got bad guts, and I'm not doing this. I'm sick of it. I'm just sick of it. Fuck's sake. Oh, God. Ah. I just want to see Warwick. Hello. Warwick, I don't know what's going on. It looks like this is the last episode of the season. I wonder if this is why. <laughs> I don't know why you're getting special treatment. Oh, I haven't even got my own shit. toilet. Someone's already been on my toilet. There's already <laughs> something there. We haven't even left dock yet. Well, what have you got then? What I haven't got anything. Just a, just a bed with about four or five other strangers. Are you sharing? Yes. Oh. It's just <laughs> annoying me the way oh. that they, we're not we're not having the same experiences. So let's go down the little corridor. And, and share the same experience. Well, is it the same way you made me share the experience with the Spider Sisters? Yeah. <laughs> then maybe this is uh, this sort of payback. Oh, right, let's. All right, forget it then. Forget it. You can have your room then. Don't forget get it. like that. No, Don't get all arsy. Stick it up your arse. Oh, oh. oh, Carl's not happy. Yeah, I shouldn't have mentioned <laughs> that. I didn't want to upset him. Both in this together, we should stick together. But that's not what he did that day. I suppose two wrongs don't make a right, does it? I should. No, it doesn't, Warwick. No, it doesn't. Okay. I've had the shits all day. The cabin that you sorted out for me, I'm in there with the fucking grumble weeds. There's one toilet between about five of us. Listen to this. That's what I'm sharing with. Be time to toss that shit overboard, wouldn't it be? It's not on, no. It noise. isn't on. I've got an idea, Carl. I've got an idea. Maybe it'd be a good idea for you to share a room. Why don't you just sneak in? Yeah. Just get I don't know why sleep on. Have a little cuddle and get a good night's sleep. Why don't you sleep on Warwick's couch? I'm not doing that with him in there. I won't sleep. <laughs> I think a nightmare is that. Oh. Did you get any sleep, Carl? Yeah, a few minutes, yeah. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Have you seen Warwick? Did he sleep? Marco Polo must have been pissed off by this point. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's a place to visit in a submarine, this. This river. Look at it, it's polluted to hell and back, isn't it? I know people moan at home, oh, so they say, oh, all our industries are gone and factories are gone and people aren't making things at home. But they are here. I mean, everything you pick up is made in China, isn't it? And look what it does to the place. Factories putting all this shit in the air. Let them keep it, honestly. We don't want this at home. It's depressing enough without having skies like this. You hear it all the time, don't you? You know, we don't do anything anymore. We don't make anything. It's all sort of coffee shops and paninis and charity shops, but... At least we have blue skies. If you're gonna... Well, at least China won't have to worry. If Trudeau keeps getting his ways, Canada will pay for the entire fucking planet's pollution. He'll just keep taxing the fuck out of us. He'll be pissed off at home. 
be pissed off with a blue sky. Imagine being pissed off here. Hello? How's it going? How's the cruise? We, uh, we're knocked out on the head. What do you mean? Yeah. Because it was horrible, honestly. It was misty, and, and the toilets right. were shocking. There was turds everywhere. <laughs> Gillian McKeith, that's the only person who would have liked that little, uh, that little boat trip. Oh, God! This is going to be the best show ever. So I'm going to reward you. <laughs> and your reward is to meet a giant panda. Cool. A real one? Yeah, it's a great <laughs> honour. <laughs> I so, love uh, Warwick's wow, face. That's amazing. A Thank real you very one. Much. Like, what would it be? <laughs> Thoughts, Carl, your are they, are they are dangerous there. at all? I've never known a panda suddenly going mental because it's come face to face with a, a mank bald twonk. So I think you're pretty safe. All right, then. I'm excited about this. What was the last thing that you saw a panda actually doing that you went, that's useful? Well, I do know this, that their urine is collected by... Sichuan tribal people, and if somebody swallowed a needle, they'd drink it, it would dissolve the needle. What, but that, what we're doing there is saving idiots. I call bullshit on that shit right there. Fucking dissolves the needle. Safe for your throat, safe for your belly, but it'll dissolve the needle. Drink some panda urine. If they're eating needles, that's nature's way of wiping them out. Yep. We're saving everyone now. That's the problem. Yeah. I was just giving you a use for a panda. Yeah, but it's not good enough. Not good enough. Hello? Oh, hello. Uh, Professor hello. Zhao? Yeah. Yes, I'm Warwick Davis. Hey, nice hello. To meet you. I'm hello. Carl. Hi, nice How are you doing? You, you alright? Yeah, good, yeah. Right. So, this place is used for training the panda for reintroduction programs. What is it? It's the breeding. They teach breeding behaviour. Yes. Yeah. I'm not wanking off a panda. Oh. They, watch, they sit there and watch videos of other pandas having sex. Panda porn! We play these videos to the pandas because <laughs> in the capital, some pandas have low mating experience. The mayor makes the correct uh, lawyers. The female can accept him. Otherwise, they will affect each other. So it's not who would ever thought that they'd fucking be showing pandas panda porn? That fucking never ever would have fucking crossed my mind that that'd be a thing. Like saying the right thing to the lady first at dinner. Yeah. If they don't make the right noise, then she's no. I'm interested. <laughs> Thank you. You have different films for it to hear and watch, or is it the same scene? <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't think that works, does it? And it's the same one, it's the same film over and over again, so you're going to get bored of that anyway. <laughs> yep. I've seen rude films. You can't watch them more than three times. You know, what else have you got? <laughs> How many times do you watch them, Warwick? Well, the panda films. Oh, no, really? I've never watched any other sort. You've never watched any rude films? I've no, I, I haven't ever felt a need to, actually, to be honest. No, it's not about need, is it? It's, it's, well, it's like how I wanted to see the spider women. It's just, what, what's all that about? People watch these, what's going on? Nothing oh, right, really you did it for it. research purposes. No, just have a look at what goes on. Of course. Get some ideas. <laughs> Before we go inside, yeah, so you had to like... wear panda clothes. You said we got to dress up? Yeah. Well, surely that's more dangerous, isn't it? If we look like a panda. Well, I'm a researcher. Goes inside. Yes. They wear this, so they were like bothered. They're a real panda. There have been a few bears I in my time. Wonder if the panda's going to get frisky. Does this really convince them? Does it heck? It's bollocks, or it's just an excuse to uh, dress us up. It took an advantage don't of. Try and get in the mind of the character now. Don't start. That's what work. it's all about. Don't start. Don't start. Just put your costume. Don't on. just wear it like that. I'm going to put the hood on when I get in there. Get involved, because otherwise it's going to look ridiculous. I've seen pandas on the telly with people near them. I've never seen Attenborough dressed up like this. But I'm just thinking, if something goes tits up, I can't see where I'm going, I'm hot. I'm gonna trip over. It's just not safe. If it kicks off and I have to thump it in the head and I end up injuring it, again, I look like the bad man. <laughs> Carl thumps endangered species in the head. 
but at the end of the day, if it comes at me, I will go at it, and I'm not being responsible for what happens. I have to kick it between the bollocks. That's what's going to happen. I will kick a panda in the bollocks if I have to. Do we need to make any sound? What sound does a panda make? Because I probably am going to be a little baby one. The baby panda chirps. Chirps. How does chirps. that go? <laughs> <laughs> what about mummy panda? What noise? Yeah, the mummy always uses the, the goat cry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's just go in. Let's go and have a look. <laughs> you get in all the gear. You got to have the sounds and the behaviour. We don't know anything about the bear. That panda never does that. For example, Carl, you can't stand on your two legs. They never do that. <laughs> 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 Uh, mother or nurse, the baby. The baby just crawl to the, the mother's uh, teeth is there. He, he will be suckle. Use your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> My mouth. Really? Where are you going to? I'm trying to suckle. Yeah, I'm letting it get here. Where is it? Where's then? your head? I can't it's see. There. Look, grab all the mouth. Yeah. No wonder they're dying out if they're like you. Let's face it, it's, it's just looking down, thinking, what, what's going on? This looks like we've been doing the London Marathon and got lost. Is, is this honest, honest to God on your mum's life? Is this going to make it come towards us? Just stick with it, Carl, honestly. Just act real. Act naturally, like a panda. Jesus Christ. Carl, he's coming down. The scarf. We go out? Yeah. Carl, we got to go out. Why? It's coming down. Ooh, what have what, oh. we come here for? Yeah, what did they come work for? Where's Dad's go? It was a lot of effort, that, wasn't it? Just enticed him down. I, I just thought we were going to hug it or something. It's a long way to come just to see that. Huh. Well, that was some of the most pointless shit I've ever fucking seen. They dressed him up as fucking pandas, suck him, stuck him in there to suck on his teeth. And then get out before the panda comes down. What was... There There was no point in that other than to make them fucking dress up like idiots. As far as I'm concerned, anyway. I, I think it was kind of pointless. Hello. Just having a nice day. So no stress. Having a wander about. Sunday here, so it's just good to see what normal people do. First restful day we've had. You go to the park much in London? Yeah, all the time. Love we'll a good walk. Bit of people watching. What's this? It's a giant earbud, isn't it? What are they copying? Is it news headlines or something? It is news. It's like a really basic sea fax. The word on the street. That's where the phrase comes from. I was just going to do my signature, I think. Just do a little head. <laughs> good, isn't it? That is good. You see, the thing is, it's hard to be an explorer now, and everything has been found. It's a piece of piss back then, with old Marco going where he wants and saying he's found new land. Look at that baby. Good God. Did you see the fat baby? <laughs> oh, it's not overweight, it's just that they're chubby. It's just a little puppy fat. fat. baby. <laughs> you don't see many fat Chinese, do you? Because the, the food's not very nice. Are right, you going to have something to eat with pizza? Oh, quite fancy pizza. You've got to have something a bit weird, and I'll have it with you. We've got cold pork lung. Pig here. I've had pig here, that's not bad. Carl, I've got a table. This isn't that bad, to be fair. It's only the rabbit head that looks a bit shit. If you get rid of the teeth, he'd think that was a pork chop. Warwick, this isn't that bad. No, they haven't got anything weird. I thought they'd have well weirder stuff. I mean, that doesn't look normal. It smells of licorice, that one. No, eat one of them. Just shove it in, honestly, it's not that bad. Can I nibble the edge of it? Nah. It's worse, just shove it in. Oh, yeah. <gasps> yep. Don't tell me what it is. I'm 100% with Warwick. I don't know how the fuck fucking uh, Carl does this shit. He's got a fucking iron fucking stomach or something. Just doesn't give a shit what he fucking puts in his mouth, but 
Yeah, I'm 100% with Warwick. He's actually done better than me because I wouldn't even have fucking tasted it. I've been like, fuck that shit. I'll, wait, I'll eat when I get home. That's a lamb bollock. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with eating a, a little sheep bollock? Really? What, it, what is it? <laughs> it's called fetching testicles. It's sheep testicles? Oh my god. That was mean. Anything weird? I thought they'd have well weirder stuff. Oh. I mean, that doesn't look normal. It smells of licorice, that one. Yeah, I eat one of them. Just shove it in, honestly. It's not that bad. Can I nibble the edge of it? Nah. It's worse. Just shove it in. Ooh. Don't tell me what it is. That's a lamb bollock. What's wrong with eating a, a little sheep bollock? Really? <coughs> it's called fetching test. Oh. Right, now, I don't know how you eat one of these. I think you just pick it up with your hand and have a chunk. That's like stone. That's solid. Oh, fucking hell, it's a head. Just just have a bite of that. I'm not eating it now. No, no, it's a head. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, yeah. Bloody hell. Oh. Right. I don't right, just have a bite of his oh. face. Stop pushing it to me! Oh. Go on, just have a bite, bite into it. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, You've let me down. Oh, Honestly, you let I'm me down. I'm not letting you down. Just have a proper Forget bite. It. Forget it. You Stupid. Had a fucking bite I don't want to be part of your fucking game. Don't throw chicken. bollocks at me like that either. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of reasons I'm thinking this might have been the last episode. Holy fuck, they're both getting pissed off pretty bad. Oh, fuck. I've got a job to do. I didn't want to go down with illness. No, but that's part of it, I think. You're doing travel, and then whatever you do, if that happens, that's part of the story. Right. Honestly, there's, there's people here who would watch Attenborough and think it's a cooking programme. Yeah, look, OK. <laughs> What's he shoving in? It's like a little blade. Oh, yeah. That's nice, that, isn't it? <laughs> It is nice. No, he seems to know yeah. how, oh, far yeah, he, how far he can go with it. Tickling. Oh, my yeah. God. Jesus, Warwick. You've had that in your ear. It's I didn't have that much. Well... No wonder you haven't, like, shit yourself since you've been here. You just be... All your orifice is blocked up with wax. Good Jesus. <laughs> it's disgusting, actually. It is. It's, you should do your ears, you dirty little shit. It's, it's deep in the ears. <laughs> could actually make, you like, a little, little Madame Two Swords modeler, Warwick, with the amount of wax that's come out of his head. <laughs> <laughs> Funny <laughs> little fella, isn't he? Imagine him as a removal man. Yeah. Pissing about. Let's get him in the van. to see uh, a Buddhist temple, which is something I really wanted to see in China, but my sinuses are really, really hurting. And uh, so, yeah, I don't feel so great, to be honest. I've done a few mountains and that, you know, it hurts your head. But he's hurting his head before he even started, so should we knock it on the head? Just that you're never going to get this opportunity again, that's what I'm disappointed Yeah, but about. if the memory of it is going, the head... What's the point? No, I, well, I want to do it. I want to have a go at it, but I don't know. Well, you, should we just start walking and just have a go? All right, let's let's just start walking. Start walking, it... there we go. If he manages to do it on his own two feet, he's going to feel a lot better than, you know, if he's if he's sat in this. It's like going up there on a, you know, a chairlift, isn't it? So what do you know about Buddhism? Dalai Lama bloke. He's sort of happy, stress-free fella, but he's not living a normal life, is he? If we all did what he did, how would anything get done? He sits around coming up with thoughts, but he's got a bloke to empty his bins, to wash the pots, to do his food. If we all did that, we'd still be living in mud huts. Oh, gosh. 
Are you all right yet? I'm totally... I'm slightly worried about getting in them. I don't know how they're going to... How can they carry someone up these steps? That's yeah. what they do, though. It's a little chair, isn't it? They're made for it. That's a shit if you're getting job. in now, it's a little bit of a give-up early. You're all right. I don't want to be seen to giving up. No, I don't want to be... <sighs> He's not cut out for it. He's not cut out for this. Now, keep looking behind, and he's dropped behind. He's slowing me down. I want to move on. All right, I'm stopping for a bit. All right. I mean, this is hard anyway, but with this, it's like, it's twice as hard. Susanna always has a moan at me. When she's ill, I'm rubbish around her. Can't you nip to the supermarket instead, and all that? I'm just not good around ill people. How much further is it, do you know? Well, I think we're no. not even not even quarter of the way. No, I'm not gonna make it. It's okay to not get to the top worry. No, it's not okay. <laughs> Just knock it on the head. He's not a Buddhist. So why is it so important? He comes so far through a journey and he kind of the uh... What we've been through and stuff, it's and I always managed to keep going and then He's his own man. If he wants to give up, he can. There's no prize here. Like, We're not gonna like win some right 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 caravan just give her. grabs if we make it to the top. Why is he It's crying? just a walk and a temple. No, it's better just to give up, don't I? That's what I could do and that's it, or to jump in there and Carl, oh, you giving up? You're knocking it on the head. My head's not up to it today. I wanna I wanna go up and see it. You knew your limits down there. I said, if you don't want to go, don't do it. And now we're halfway up. But I do want to go. That's the thing. It's like dragging around a Henry the Vac. You know that thing you walk in, it gets caught under a chair and you've got to walk back and unblock un un it. That's what it's been like, with your big smiling face. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to call it a day here. Definitely. I think Warwick's having a nervous breakdown. It's too easy to say, I've got a headache, or my legs, or... It is easy if you haven't got a headache. Carl, in my career, I've put up with all sorts of stuff. The stuff I endure in, in costumes and stuff, it's, it's oh, hard. But this makes a mockery. This makes a mockery of the whole Star Wars thing. Anyway, you're in the universe. I didn't see you up there going... Sinuses. <laughs> well, that's why he sounded like that. All his nose is blocked. Land. I need a fix. Ugh. Oh, no, no I, I can't. I don't think I'll get all the way. Sometimes, Carl, you see, I don't think you see what others see, you know? You were up there having a go at Warwick. Warwick's down below actually having a little tear on. I mean... You didn't cry to you on camera. Hang on, I didn't mean to. It's just... Oh, here we go. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> I feel like doing it just to annoy exactly. him. Exactly. That's exactly how I work. That's how, how I do it with Suzanne. You never wash up a do, you don't. Then she does it. It's the same thing, being pushed. So what, what I say to you is, get off your arse and get walking. Let's keep going. We can do it. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, Jesus. Are you fucking kidding Poor me? Poor fellas. <laughs> Oh, now, wow. if we do make it up, he can't say he walked all the way. This is part of the experience as well, isn't it? Oh, it is now, is it? It wasn't a minute ago. No, but I, I thought, you know, travel. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Pilkington lose the goalposts once again. <laughs> oh, I'd fucking punch him right He's like having a little kid with me. Because of his height, and he likes toffees and he likes pizza, I feel like his dad. And that's what I was acting like when I was coming up the hill. Like, come on, son. And that's how I would have said, if I've got a son, that's how I would have spoke to him. Get off your ass and get up here. Wow. Oh, Jesus, there's more stairs. Yeah. I tell you what, you can't be a Buddhist in a wheelchair. I don't think he realises what he's saying sometimes. Yeah, dragging a Henry vacuum behind me and having to stop and empty it now and again. I mean, how offensive can you be? But it was what I needed. I gave him the kick to do it. And sometimes that's what you need, isn't it? You need someone, you need a good leader. 
I was like a, I was like Winston Churchill or something like that. Hey. Seven. He six. said, when you're going through hell, keep going. And that's what I did down there. I was I was Winston Churchill. Oh, give me that shit. Keep going. Three. Three. Two. One. Hang on. One. That's it. Yes. Here we are. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> impressive, that. Absolutely, yeah. You see, what annoys me though, Warwick, right? You didn't like seeing the woman with two heads. Suddenly, you're happy with that, she's got six. <laughs> Were you really crying before, or was that just messing about? No, I was. Why? I don't know, I think it's something to do with being short. It's harder to be defeated. Do you know what I mean? They'll make it look like an X Factor moment. You'll be loving that, won't you? They'll have Coldplay under that. <laughs> <laughs> Will a little man do it? <laughs> Telling you. Him, and everyone will be like that. <laughs> Come on. Cold play. It has brought us closer together. But the one bad thing to come out of this, he's got a disabled badge for his car. He's going to get that taken off him. Because you can't be climbing stuff like this and then getting home going, I need to park in, and that, that's well gone. But I haven't told him. Hi Warwick, um, I had a thought, how about we go one better than Marco Polo? He turned around in China and went home. I was thinking you and Carl could carry on a bit further and go on to Macau. I've booked you rooms at a lovely hotel called the Venetian, so you should feel at home there, right? Like. Um, and it's a lovely treat on your last night together. I've got your table at a restaurant at the top of the Macau Tower. Oh, it's wow. supposed to be absolutely beautiful, stunning views. So, um, yeah, I'll speak to you later. All right, cheers, bye. That does look nice. Especially not to have a meal. If I'm having a Sunday dinner at home, I normally sit there with now on top, take my T-shirt off and everything, because you drop a bit of chicken in gravy. Gravy's got grease in it, it doesn't come out. You sit there bare-chested on the table and enjoy it. You don't have to be dressed up. I'll pop a T-shirt back on when it's time for pudding. It's going to be all right, this. We can sort everything out. It's going to be a lovely evening. It's, it's really nice that you set this up to celebrate the end of the journey. And then, um, in true Ricky style, he's, uh, he's thrown a bit of spanner in the works for me. Mm. I've got a text from him. Hi. We're not just going up there to look at the view. <sighs> He wants Carl to do a skydive. <sighs> it's just far from it. Why do this when we've invented buttons? Fannying about. What Ricky basically said about tonight is, don't let me down. It's in your hands to get him to do this. I don't want the show to finish on a damp squib. You know, we've got to end with a big finish. Everyone wants to see him jump. You gonna have a pudding? Yeah. Is Carl He's knows what's going on. I actually I like to see does. a plate of food. I know for me, and it's my job to eat what's on that plate. But the way they keep sort of bringing out dishes and noodles and then some dim sum and a dumpling. Yeah, it's just like a load of starters, isn't it? It's gonna be nice. That way. I can see you dressed now. I don't know. Just for something to eat, just seems a bit over the top to me. Restaurants at the top there. Yeah. <clears throat> Welcome to the Cow Tower. We hope right. you will enjoy your visit to this 338 metre iconic landmark. I um, I got a text from Ricky earlier. <laughs> there it goes. Hoping we had a nice time. They do other stuff here as well as food. You can um, you can do sort of extreme sort of sports. Bungee jumping, funny. No, no, it's not bungee jumping. Yeah, it is though, isn't it? No, no, it isn't. Yeah, it is. I'm not. I, I don't do extreme stuff, Warwick. Hello there. Hello. I'm Warwick. Hi Warwick. there. Tony O'Rourke. How are you? Hello, Tony. It's Hi, Tony. Tony. Yeah, good. good. Welcome to Macau Town. We have various activities. Yes. We have our uh, skywalk, which is walking the outer rim. We have our sky jump, 
We have our world's highest bungee jump. So yeah. you know what bungee jumping is, yeah? Yeah, I've been faced with it and I'm not doing it. Sky jump is actually designed for those people who could never do a bungee jump. You go outside and have a look? Yeah, I'm happy yes. to go outside okay. and have a look. It's just that I'm not going to jump. As you can see, everything is double. We attach the two attachments to your harness, and then what we do is we slowly, ever so slowly, just lower to the ground. It's actually a controlled, what we call a controlled descent. Right. It's just a gentle ride. Carl, come here. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Do you remember, like, you remember the mountain the other day? Yeah. Right? I didn't want to do it. I couldn't do it. Not yeah. that I didn't want to. And you motivated me to do it. Yes. And that's and, that, and, and I'm glad I did. And the food thing, and you don't eat it, and I would never yeah. have gone anywhere near a testicle. Trip. But I did, because you were going to have it. Why don't you do it? This is about you conquering something. What was the other things that you said you can do? The skywalk is just walking the perimeter of the tower. Yeah, that's Body a double. That's, that's easy, walking down that. Yeah. Here we go. Excellent. Whoa. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. No, I wouldn't like Can't that either. you look straight down. Yeah. Your brain's telling you this can't be real. You wouldn't be this stupid, surely. I don't want any more of a, a rush than that. I can understand the view, but jumping off, I really don't know what it's about. Should we go for a wander? It's pathetic, though, isn't it? What? Well. Oh. What, the fact that you won't do the old skydive? No, 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 just that, that Ricky keeps going on about this. But I don't want to do one, and he can't make me. And he wouldn't do one. It's not as if he's been jumping off buildings. I've never seen him do anything with a slight bit of danger. There's just nothing in me that makes me want to jump off there. Sometimes that's what annoys me with films. It's always a happy ending. Life isn't like that. People don't always get what they want. My favourite films are Elephant Man, who ends up killing himself because he's sick of having that head. Yeah. And Kez, when his Kestrel gets killed by his brother. I don't like happy endings. Can you sit down on the edge? I can't get any nearer the edge because I've got ten. Where's your knees? Have you got knees? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you got knees? This whole thing together. Epic journey, put up with all sorts of stuff. Yeah. You know, shouted, hated each other, got on with each other. We should do the last thing together. I'll do it if you do it. Well, I'm not going to be doing it. It so. can't be that hard. Look at me now. I'm hanging over here. I'm yeah, I know. Well, that's what I'm saying. You could do it. Right. Help me up. Have you ever had a dwarf appear before to do this? No. Nope. So this is a world record, then? Check. OK, just turn to you. Yeah, Rear that's, attachment. That's making me nervous, all that stuff. Check. You're going to feel yourself lifting off. No, no it's way. Big... Warwick, that is mental. Bloody hell! Oh, good, mate. <laughs> We're a big deal letting go. Warwick, are you sure? Oh, fucking hell. Stay there. I'm here. No, no Is way. Me? No, look at me. You don't have to do it. <sighs> you ready? It's all of you. Spin around again. We're going to be fine. Let's just do this. We're going to do it, okay, Warwick? Sky jump in five seconds. Four. No, don't three, say. Don't count two. down like that. Fuck! Good luck. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Oh Jesus! No, I don't want to look. I do not want to look. That was way too fast. Fucking hell! This is amazing. Oh yes! Yes, yes, yes! That's amazing. Fucking hell! Okay, so that's so good. <laughs> that's amazing. I want to do it again. That is so good. Hello. Hello, Ricky. It's Warwick. We're at the top of the Sky Tower in Macau, and I just jumped off it. Did you really? Yeah. Well done, man. Yeah, I did it. It felt great. And Carl nearly did it. Yeah, I, I just sort of uh, walked around the edge of it. <laughs> Well, I up. Ah, oh, that's so funny, isn't it? Because Carl was worried 
that you wouldn't be able to do physical things. And now you've made it look like a, like a little jellyfish, like a little cowardly car. <laughs> yeah. You won't try to make Carl look like a no. cowardly little bat. You won't, you won't try to make him look like a bat, chicken, a <laughs> I'm pleased for Warwick. I, I feel like I've been part of it. I, I helped him get out on the ledge. And then you ran away. Yeah, but but I, I helped you do it. That's his teamwork, isn't it? Okay. Well, don't forget, I arranged the frame check in the prostate, so I feel that you know. Yeah, well, that's I'm part of that. That was worth doing, wasn't it? It's for my health. That's one thing we haven't done with Warwick, though, isn't it? Finger yeah, no, up the arse. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm all checked out up there, honestly. Are you? And I've had my ears done on this trip as well, so I'm totally... All orifices are clear. Jesus. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, I've seen them. Don't worry. <laughs> In this little harness he's got on, like a little bunch of grapes being lowered down. Cargo. Look at them. It's unbelievable, cos they're normal, aren't they? They're normal-sized bollocks. <laughs> well, I don't know why. I'm not comparing them to anything, but... Believe me. <laughs> what, what do we have to do? Why? And they say television is being done there. It's gone. See the end of that. There you go. What's going on about nuts? I you? know, but it's unbelievable. That's, that's something I won't forget. The Spider Sisters and them. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That's all you take away from this trip. The Spider Sisters and my nuts. <laughs> Great. Right, let's get something to eat. There's a time for us someday a time for us time together with time to spare time to learn time to care someday wow. somewhere <laughs> There's a place for us. I knew you were coming. <laughs> a time, a place for us. Hold my hand and we there. Hold my hand and I'll take you there. Whoa. Somehow. Where's your knees? Have you got knees? <laughs> yeah, I have, yeah. I wasn't even attached then. Could have fell off. Jesus. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, that's the last episode of Carl and Warwick, season three. I don't even believe there's a season four. But that was damn good. All three episodes were really good. I kind of wonder if Warwick and Carl became friends after all this. They seem to get along pretty good, but they also seem to get on each other's nerves a lot. But, I don't know. I guess uh, Carl could probably be friends with anybody. He's friends with Ricky. Ricky fucking puts him through hell constantly, so. But. Warwick, I don't think, was going out of his way, really, to put Carl through hell. If anything, probably fucking Carl was putting Warwick through hell more than anything, which... Poor Warwick, I can't believe he made him get up on that stage with those that spider girl. Must have made him just feel great, but... Anyhow, I want to thank you for watching this video, and, uh... If you want to like, comment, and subscribe... Feel free and uh, have yourselves a great day. All right. Thanks for now.